This DIY PC arcade machine project is special to me. It's made gaming fun again in my 30s. Did I get it? Let's go! Yeah, the nostalgia hit is nice, but I can't bring back what made the arcades actually fun. The people. The community. So in order to find that community, I'm adding a few mods to turn this arcade cabinet into a live stream battle station with help from our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay offers high quality custom PCB manufacturing and is a one stop shop for DIY enthusiasts just like us. Whether you're building a robot, adding some screens to your arcade cabinet, their affordable prices make them a go-to resource. After you're done with this video, check out PCBWay's project page to get inspired for your next project with a link below. So the first mod that I have mounted up here is a seven inch touch display. It's actually connected to a Raspberry Pi 4B with four gigs of RAM. It's actually mounted with one of those car mounts that you'll find on a dashboard or a windshield. So think big suction cup and that's how it's being mounted up here. It's been up for a few days now and have had any issues, no falls or anything like that. So I think we're good to go. As far as the software is concerned, I am running Android 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And it's not just because of Android's touch-friendly user interface, it's also because I want to run a specific app called Streamlabs Controller, and it only is available on Google Play Store and iOS App Store. So basically I needed a budget stream deck so I didn't have to go back and forth between the arcade cabinet and the gaming PC that's actually hosting the game and the stream. The installation process wasn't too bad. If you know anything about installing stock Android on a device, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but the issue I mainly ran into was a compatibility issue between the Streamlabs Controller app and the version of Android I was running, I guess. I'm not completely sure, but I downloaded an older APK of the Streamlabs controller app and that seemed to solve the issue. The next mod is this little screen down here. Now this is not a touch screen. It's a 7.9 inch diagonal screen, but it's actually about two and a half by eight and a half inches. The main purpose for this little screen right now is to just show chat. Since it's not a touch display, I didn't want to install another Raspberry Pi in it or install Android. I just hooked it up to the graphics card that's in there. It gets power from USB and it's just connected to the motherboard on the PC that's in there. So I think Android tablet, dual monitor, setup essentially and these both are mounted with the same mount that I found on Amazon. I'll put link for all the materials in the description. I'm really happy with how the touchscreen turned out. Everything is working great. The only thing I would change here is just get some 90 degree angle cables or adapters here so these cables kind of aren't hanging over the interface here. It looks a little clunky. Other than that everything's working fine. Now the final step is just testing. I did do a quick 15 minute live stream the other day where I just made sure everything was functional. No crashes, no major bugs or anything but I really didn't have any chatters. Like I said I only went live for like 15 minutes during my lunch break. So turn your notes notifications on get notified when I go live next time I am playing Street Fighter 6 right now I'm trying to learn how to be somewhat decent at fighting games I'm, I'm giving it an honest try so just turn those notifications on and let's get to it I don't think that's definitely not gonna kill let's go 